arrived on site to, to install some uh, new windows. We have um, got five, five windows to install today. Jordan's just making a start over here. So we've got one, two, three, four, and then we've got the one window up there, all on the front of the property. Nice, easy job. Uh, we'll probably get most of this done today, may just run on to tomorrow. Uh, so the PVC windows that we're taking out, old PVC windows probably, 25, 35 years old, something like that. Uh, we're installing uh, these De Koenig flush sash windows. Show you one of these. Internal, internals uh, all white. And got the external. External finish, uh, anthracite grey. So you can see they're all they're all flush, flush sash uh, windows. These. Um, so I'll show you if you look from the side. Basically, that's an opener. So a typical PVC window. Uh, all openers, they would, they would have a sash like this, where it uh, protrudes off the, off the frame. Uh, with the flush sash ones, can't really tell that they're openers because obviously there's a flush, so it's all flat like that. Uh, these ones uh, got the uh, graph weld on them as well. Cracking on with it now. Got uh, three windows out so far. Jordan's ripping, uh, just ripping the, uh, the fourth window out, it's not going there. Every effort being made to uh, take them out as neatly as possible, keep as much uh, plaster on, not damage the stonework. I'll quickly show you. So, this side, we knife, we knife down this side before we take the window frame out. So we can, when the, once the new window frame goes up against that, we can just decorate his cork down that side or, or use a, a PVC uh, trim section just to finish that detail off. Uh, with these being just plaster finish, no uh, wallpaper on there, we'll probably just uh, use decorator's cork and then the uh, the customer can just paint, uh, paint up nicer to the window then. They look like the, the windows have always been there. So yeah, that's come, come out really well. This middle one we're okay with because the customer's in the middle of uh, renovating the, uh, the bathroom. So there is no tiles uh, in plaster to worry about on that side. But we'll still uh, give that a good clean and put the window in there. Uh, and we've got the, another, another bedroom window. Again, doing the very best to uh, keep the plaster on. Uh, as you can see, we've again knifed down that side there. It's done a really nice job. There is a new one. Just also what about the one? That's what I explained the um, the Infinity um, mechanic windows that we've got a little bit better than what I did last time. Uh, so I've got a, a sample here for you. So this is the new Amphisite Grey um, Decanic Infinity window, and then you've got one of the old PVC uh, sashes on the left hand side here. Um, so I'll show you the welds. This is a typical this is a typical PVC weld uh, on a white. Profile. 
So what they do in, in the factory on this, they, they cut the two pieces of uh, plastic profile, window profile, um, and then there's like a metal a metal plate uh, in the factory that heats up heats up this section, and they basically just melt uh, the two pieces of uh, PVC together, and then you're left with this where the plate would have been, uh, and this section here. So they just knife that off, and that's basically finish on a, a standard PVC. Um, frame uh, so what we what we now offer on the um, infinity the Kernet window plus window that we, we sell is um, this detail here so it's a seamless seamless um, graph weld so you can see that if we don't you don't have this big ugly this big ugly line down down there what this also gives you as well so on this finish it's a foiled foiled grain finish um, so the, the grain actually goes right up to the uh, the, seat, the, the, the seam, the joint. Uh, we're on a PVC one. If we were installing PVC windows, uh, the grain would actually stop just at this section here, and then at this section here, and then this this middle this part here would actually just be touched up with uh, with paint, like a touch-up pen. Uh, so the Infinity Weld, there's no touch-up pens, there's no paint. The, the grain goes right up to the um, Right up to the, the seam. It was a really nice finish. Um, not many, not many window, um, you know, suppliers uh, do it are offering this option. Uh, we, you know, as soon as we seen that, we, we you know, we loved it instantly. Uh, not to have that, you know, because over over time, um, over time they, they they will need touching up. Uh, you know, if like this was a, a grey, that would go a slightly lighter grey over you know 10, 15, 20 years time uh, with, with a seamless joint. You don't have that issue, uh, so I'll probably explain that as best as I can. Uh, yeah, it's gonna look really good. So we're just getting to window frames in now. Uh, we've, we've fixed this one in. We fixed this one in. Uh, they're both both formed, so we've formed around the edges. So you can see the form there just expanding. That's still wet, is that? So we'll cut that back later on. Uh, I'll open these. So you can see the fixings on the inside there. There's two fixings on these, top and bottom, on either side. And we're just about to do the third window now, so I'll just show you how we do that. So we've got our wind bags and wedges in the window, holding the window in place, and we've also Put a little bit of form in each corner, just secure, secure it. It just helps us whilst uh, whilst fixing the bolts in. Uh, if you just uh, put the bolts in there for us, we're going to measure down uh, 150 mil, uh, top and bottom, and then we pre-drill, pre-drill uh, the hole, and then we SDS um, with, the, with the SDS drill. The uh, frame fixing. Steel bit in there, uh, steel bit in uh, the pre drilling. Uh, with it being um, a foiled product, a coloured coloured frame. Um, the, uh, reinforce the inner, inner side of the frame with uh, with steel, um, just to strengthen the products, uh, you know, for your, uh, movement or bowling on the on them sunny days. It will be a colour, it will attract the attract the heat more. But all coloured ball piles are always um, reinforced. So it's good practice to uh, free drill as well, just to stop. Uh, if you just if you're not free drill, you just go straight for it to SDS drill. Can sometimes um, end up splitting the plastic profile, especially on a cold day, um, or even slipping and just making a mess. That's always trying pre drill. Plumbed and squared up the window. 
of them and be really careful not to over tighten the, uh, the fixings uh, and create a, a bore in the frame. Um, we can pack, can pack uh, behind the fixings as well to, to help that you don't, uh, to make sure that you don't bore the frame. I'm just going to repeat the process on that side. And uh, yeah, get in there, all good. Just got all the glazing done now. Obscure glass. That design is uh, called Cotswold. Quite nice. You've got the warm edge, warm edge spacer, black warm edge spacer on the inside. Jordan's just pulling out tape off now. Uh, we'll chop all this foam back, get them all cleaned up, get the end caps on, the sills. These, these are the end caps that go on the ends there. And then we'll chop all the foam back. That's where the foam is expanded. Get all that back, get them all good clean, get ready for the silicone in. Another day, we're back on site today to, fit, to install one more window. Just uh, getting some breakfast first, fuel for the day. But, uh, we managed to get four windows in yesterday, all fully finished inside and outside. They look really, really nice. They've uh, come out really nicely. The, the anthracite grey with this stone, I think just looks, uh, looks spot on. Going to look really good. A customer um, in a, uh, a month or two is going to be having the um, fascias and soffits done as well. Uh, so, all these fascias, soffits are all going to get done in anthracite grey. Uh, I think we're going to put a, a black gutter on just to break it up a little bit. So, black and grey with the, uh, the stone. It's going to look really nice. So, you can see how, how clean and stylish these windows look. They're all nice, flush finish. No ugly uh, welds on them. <laughs> a nice seamless, seamless welds on there. But we're going to be doing, um, we're going to be doing this large, larger window this morning up top, up at you. Uh, so we probably could have squeezed that one in yesterday, but uh, got to uh, get to about three o'clock. Uh, I start pining for home time. <laughs> So the, this is the old PVC window that we're removing. So as you can see, it's all externally glazed. Uh, so we've popped this one out already. So externally glazed basically means the glazing, the glazing beads um, on, are on the external side of the, the frame. So these beads here, we can actually pop these beads off, remove that glass, uh, which isn't great. Um, to be honest with you, externally, externally glazing wasn't, um, shouldn't have been as bad as what it was. Um, it was just that people weren't doing the job properly, uh, basically. So really what this should have, what this should have had is, is double sided tape or some security brackets off. So if uh, Mr. Burglar comes along, pops these uh, beads off, he shouldn't be able to physically remove them, them glass units from the outside. Because um, they'd be, you know, they'd be on a security bracket on the, ins uh, you know, on the side of the frame, or they'd be double-sided taped from inside the property. Uh, but obviously, we, um, people not doing the jobs properly. Um, they've, they, on these this occasion, they've just literally just put the glazing in. Um, no security brackets, no double-sided tape. I can just come along, pop the beads out, um, and take the glass unit out. It's dead, e dead easy. Uh, like I said, there should there should really be uh, a line of double-sided tape along there to stop uh, to stop anyone just coming along and pulling that glass unit out. So that's a bit of the uh, you know why a lot of salespeople go around scaring everybody, saying, "Oh, it's externally beaded. You need to get them removed." 
not always the case if, if the job was done properly. Um, but uh, yeah, obviously on this occasion it wasn't done properly, so this one doesn't need removing. Uh, and also it's uh, extremely old. These are just uh, thin, thin double glaze units. Our, our double glaze units are uh, 28 mil, 28 mil in thick, in thickness compared to these are maybe 20 mil, something like that. I'll have to get a tape measure on there. Uh, just standard double glaze units. There's nothing special about them. You've got the old silver bar, just two standard pieces of glass uh, sealed together. Uh, and that, that was it really. Where the modern glazing now is a lot thicker. So, well, it's just 28 mil thick. So you've got a four mil piece of glass, a 28 mil cavity, a 20 mil cavity, and then another four mil piece of glass. And obviously the, the glass that we use has got a special coating on on one side. Um, it's filled with argon gas in between the in between the two units. And we all also use um, a different spacer to this one. It's uh, we use a, a warm warm spacer, warm edge spacer. Basically, it just helps stop pulling the cold, transferring the cold through through that spacer by there. So yeah, we'll crack on with this and do a bit more filming in a bit. That's all the glazing out now. Popped all that out. So what we're going to do is, um, with this window, we're, we can't take this window out all in one uh, because on um, see how there's no fixings, there's no fixings at all in this frame. Uh, so I believe uh, that it's actually on uh, metal brackets. So there's a bracket behind the frame that uh, goes onto the internal uh, block work and fixes fixes to that so that bracket is basically here straps across and straps to the frame and that's holding that in place so we're going to break this up and take this out in pieces uh, got a little tip for you um, so rather than getting the uh, rip saw out and cutting on an angle through the frame with PVC we can actually just crack the welds because Jordan just shows us that Top tip for you there. So I've just took that section out. It was on the uh, little uh, cleats, the metal brackets. So you see the little bracket there behind the, the plaster work. So we just leave the leave the brackets in there. Otherwise, we'd have to take this whole section of plaster plaster off. And obviously, we don't want to be doing that. So we just cut cut through them with the little mini mini grinder. Do do the same on this side.
that's us all done for today now on this job. So all, all five windows done. All nice and finished. It's been a good day actually. It's uh, supposed to rain today, but it was uh, stayed dry. Oh, looks really nice as that one. I quite like that design. A little um, fan light up of it. So we'll be back in uh, back in a few weeks' time to um, sort all the uh, roof line out. I'm going to change all the uh, faces and soffits to anthracite grey, and uh, that should uh, tie it all in together. Customer's going to um, paint his garage door for the time being. It's all uh, it's actually all cedar. Is the uh, garage door cedar wood and uh, hardwood? So um, once that's been painted up, it's going to come up really good. Actually, that. Well, yeah, good. Very happy, another happy uh, customer. Thanks for choosing the uh, the Koenig flush sash windows. They're a pleasure, pleasure to install. Very rewarding at the end of the day to see your work. Off to the next one.